I'm going to create a vent like structure like this, which is really just a plane, and the rest of this is texture. Created a normal map in Blender and used it in Substance Painter. So that's what we're going to do. You could use this to make sci fi walkways and, and other structures. All right, so we're going to create a normal here in Blender, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a plane, first of all, rotate x90. We're going to create uh, just the, the plane that we're going to use for the vent itself. So let's say we want it something, something like that. All right, so now I want to create the normal for the little slot-like things. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring in another plane, rotate x90, scale it down, and drag it up here, and I'm going to put on a mirror. Grab these two points, start pulling them to get a sense of this thing. Leave a little gap in the middle, maybe scale it down a bit, and get it something like that. Let's go ahead and put on an array, and we're going to put that in the minus Z direction. We'll zero out this, and I'm going to go for five or six. Uh, let's see. Five is probably okay if I just do this. Now maybe I will go for six. And I'm just going to take this and scale it in the Z a little bit and give myself a bit more room and just move these. That kind of a thing. All right, something, something like that. All right, select it all and I want to bevel these points. So Shift Control B, pull and press C for. Uh, so we'll snap together like that, but it won't cross over. Select M, merge by distance, so that's good. Now we're going to take this, pull it out a little bit, and give it some depth by extruding it back. I'm going to, uh, let's get rid of, let's see, we'll get rid of that face right there, and we'll get rid of this front face, and of course it's just mirrored and arrayed, so it does it for all of them. Shift, Alt, and click that edge. Let's look from the front again. We can turn on the cavity shader, and we can actually hide hide that. So let's grab that, and I'm going to take that. And I'm going to scale it in the X, pull it in like this, giving you know a little bit of room that way. Scale it in the Z, and I'm going to try to sort of match that sort of thickness all the way around. Okay. The only thing I don't like is I don't like it so sharp like this, and so the way I'm going to fix that is drop an edge loop in on the top and the bottom and grab these vertices and delete them and now I'm going to box select these ones and scale in the X and flatten out that curve quite a bit and then pull it back a little bit so again it seems pretty much even. Okay I'm going to take that shift D and rotate Y 180 pull it down here and look at that that's probably going to be okay so let's grab those F to make a face I have to make a face and an edge selection will grab these and X dissolve edges. Let's double check that they're facing the right way, which they are. Okay, so now I'll take that and I'll shade smooth. And that's going to be what I'm using right there. Okay, so uh, we're going to create the normal map now in Blender. So I'm going to come over here to the mat caps and I'm going to switch to this one. So that's the normal map one. And my 3D cursor is right in the middle. I'm going to go Shift A, camera, and I'm going to go Control Alt Zero to look through the camera. But I'm going to click on the camera and switch its type from perspective to orthographic. A couple more things to do. Let's change the output, the resolution to 1024 by 1024. This works best uh, to have it square for Substance Painter. So do that and then come back to the camera and just move this forwards or backwards so that your uh, structures fit. You could also go GX or whatever and move the camera a little bit and get it roughly in the center. Something like that is going to be fine. All right, let's go back up here and come down to film put it on transparent color management put that on a standard and turn these off and we are ready to go click on view viewport render image and there are there's my normals right there all right now we have a little bit of this banding here 
and we'll have to see if that comes through. Let me just double check something if I turn off the cavity shader. Uh, that may have caused that, so let's come back and just try it again. I just want to see. I think it looks a little bit better, so let's stick with that. All right, let's go image, save as. We'll do it as a PNG, save it somewhere. So I'm going to call this vent video. Vent video. I'm going to overwrite a previous one I tried to do and save. All right, so we've saved that. Obviously, you should save your scene as well. Let's come back here. Let's press zero to get out of the camera and come back to the studio. And let's bring back the plane. And all we need is just the plane itself. That's going to represent our actual vent. I'm going to come in here and press U, project from view, and then go to UV editing window. Take this and we're going to maximize it. I'm going to pack it using UV Pack Master. You can use Blender. I just want it as big as possible. All right, we're going to export that as an FBX. Export, FBX, find a place to put that. I'll call this Vent Video, FBX. Over in Substance Painter, let's open that up. Switch that to OpenGL, select, and Vent Video, there it is. So it's just a plane, all right? So that's what we're going to use. Um, Substance Painter has already put in a default paint layer and we can use that instead of deleting it. Scroll down, get rid of this soft alpha. We don't need it at all. Alt click on normal, so we only have normal. And then we're going to import import the vent video there it is i've done a bunch of these the vent video normal that we created set it as a texture to your current session and there it is we're going to drag that over to the normal and now that's our brush it's not quite big enough so i'm going to put it at about 190 let's try 190 and that looks pretty good so I'm going to try my best to center this up and I'll go around there. All right, now I'm going to click that off and make my brush smaller and we can look at this. Now, when this comes in, it tends to come in flipped. The normals are flipped and you'll see that uh, very clearly in a second. So to fix that, come to the layers on the layer that you've just stamped that in, come to the magic wand, add levels, change this channel to normal, switch this to the green channel, and click invert and watch the vent. So you can see now that they're going in nicely. All right, so that's a quick fix for doing that. All right, so what we want to do now is to get this normal that we stamped on baked into the actual texture. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna call this vent video. I'm gonna give sort of a name to this texture and we're going to export this and that will create a normal in fact we're only going to export the normal i'm going to come up to export textures and in the output textures you can choose you know whatever you've got here but i've created one that's normal export the way i did that was i have my default pbr metallic roughness and it's got a normal channel in there click this to duplicate it it'll put it down at the bottom Rename it and then just delete all the ones you don't want. So the ones I'm left with is this. Note that it's OpenGL. All right, that's all I want because I'm going to be exporting this now. And uh, that's fine. And so I'm going to choose over here, Normal Export. There it is. And I'm going to put this on my desktop. And I'm just going to export at 8-bit PNG. There it is, just the one file. I mean, you can export a whole bunch and then just not use the others. So just to double check that we've got that. All right, there it is. That's what, we're, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to be using. So back into Substance Painter, I'm going to import that one from my desktop. There it is. Again, import it as a texture to the current session. And there it is. What do I want to do with this? Come to your texture set settings, where your maps are that you normally would bake, and drag that into the normal map there. Now, get rid of this one. You've replaced it, so take that, you can just delete it. I've now got just a normal map, but I don't have the others and I haven't baked. We're gonna do that now. Click on Bake Mesh Maps. We switch this to something like 2K, but uncheck normal. You don't wanna bake over the normal, you wanna keep that. 
uncheck ID and thickness because you don't need them. So we're going to bake all the other ones in 2K. All right, as you can see, you can see the impression of the normal in there. You may be able to see it in there. So you've now baked in that information uh, with the maps. So now I can come and I can take materials. For example, I'll take this aluminum, drag it in, and make a few adjustments to this. Maybe darken it up like that, and maybe a little bit less roughness or more roughness as it is uh, add a filter and put on your favorite filter whatever that might be so I'll use that one okay so we're starting to get just the beginning of our uh, of our fence all right let's make it look a little bit better if we can so what I'm going to do now is a matter of taste I'm going to add a fill I'm going to choose color and uh, I'm going to leave roughness off for the moment I'm going to choose a dark, almost black color, add a black mask, and then a generator. And this is why we baked in the normal so that the generators can work on this. And I'm going to choose curvature. And then I'm going to play with these values a little bit. And bring the global blur up a little bit. And this. What I really want to do is come into this curvature here and change the mode from edges to cavities. And that'll start filling that in. So now I can bring that in. And you start to get the sense of darkness in behind there. Now, I'm going to do a couple of things here. And uh, I'll come back to that roughness in a moment. So you can play with these values. Generally, you can use these ones, but I probably don't need them. Probably more. This one, maybe I'll bring that up to about 0 0.8 and around there now let's try adding another filter or a filter gradient all right i'm going to switch this to pinch and i like to play with this one and you can start to get a sense of what it does here now you may not see it too well actually but i like to i, I sometimes like to put that on um I'm going to go on and do something else. I'm going to add another fill layer, just color, a black mask, generator, but this time I'm going to choose the mask editor. Give it a second. And this is going to this is creating a little bit of white around here. Drag that up. It's just sharpening it up so you so there's a little bit of white so you can really see that these are depressions. Okay, so you can play around with those. But I'm going to come back now here to this and I'm going to click on the roughness and let's watch this and see if there's any change. It's a little reflective right now, so if I drag it up, it's darker. And you get this kind of interesting white around there. And then you can come back and play with the curvature. Uh, actually, there's not much I want to change really in the curvature. You could try the gradient, see if that does anything. It will move it and get a position that you like. All right. Okay. So it's not overly 3D, but it, you know, depending on the lighting, if you had that as a sci fi floor or a vent, it could, it could, you know. It could probably do the trick and again it's just a plane i can add on anti-aliasing just to make it look a little bit better and i'll just do a little bit more on this all right i'm not labeling all of these just a another paint layer and i'm going to alt click color and height change the color to a dark almost black drop the height down to maybe halfway or so and come to my alphas i'm going to search for circle i'm going to take this double circle and I'm going to increase this a little bit, decrease the size. Let's just get in here and see what it's like. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to turn on symmetry and click here and click here. Good. I'm going to turn off symmetry. And with those same values, although maybe actually the height is a little bit much, uh, because it's a paint layer, all I have to do is change this. It won't change the rest. I'll just bring it to about maybe there. Come to my alphas again, font. Choose a font like this one. 
and I'm going to type in something like vent 01-B. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Just to get some text on there and check it out. Okay, do that. And let's increase that. I need to decrease the size so that it fits in there. Where is that size? There it is. So it fits in my brush. I'll increase that. I'll just click down there somewhere. Now we have some text in there. All right, so there is our stuff. At this point, we would have to export those textures. Just make sure you don't export just the normal, you know, the, you need all of the maps. All right, so there's our vent. Okay, thanks for watching.